Welcome to Professor Sutton, uh, from Imperial College London and to Professor Boon Lim, clinical lead for the uh, Imperial Syncope Unit at Hammersmith Hospital, both members of STARS Medical Advisory Committee. Thank you for joining and for being available for patients. Good morning, Trudy. Thank you for having us. And whilst we're on this subject, um, one mother has contacted us saying her daughter always faints in dissection in a biology lesson and she's also fainted when she's had a vaccination at school, um, sight of blood, etc. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so that's a very interesting uh, part of syncope and I find that fascinating. It's called situational syncope. And there are some of us who describe uh, syncopal attacks when faced with certain conditions, exactly as you described. For example, having blood taking is another very uh, clear example of a situation that provokes syncope. And this is uh, uh, a slightly more complex set of reflexes and tells you that syncope can have those trigger factors that we all talked about, which are physical. But the syncope that you just described is situational due to a thought or a sight. So you're thinking of blood, you're thinking of fright, you're thinking of pain or not thinking. The emotion is pain. An emotion, an emotion can also trigger the reflex that sets up out in motion the cascade of events that lead to the vagus being very expressed. So when the vagus is in overdrive, and the sympathetic nervous system shuts down, then the blood pressure will fall, vasodilatation increases, and the heart rate can slow and stop. And in these situations, the trigger for it wasn't standing, wasn't dehydration, it wasn't having alcohol or a large meal. The trigger for this very same reflex that originates from the brain is an action, a thought, an emotion, that kicks the vagus into full gear. And this is what causes those syncopal attacks in those individuals that you described. Treatment is along the same principles that Richard described earlier on with, with fluid, salt, hydration, posture. But there is a particular form of, uh, of, of treatment that may be useful for, for these patients. And it's, it's akin to trying to get them used to a trauma so the more they can get used to it and not get so emotionally triggered by that the easier it is to not engage the very strong vagus reflex back to you trudy thank you very much indeed 